Good morning, Eddie. I'm going to make a little video presentation here this morning to show you how to do a couple of things on your computer. One, how to open an email and how to look at an attachment to that email. And the attachment would normally be a photograph that either I or someone else would send you, but it could be a document of some kind that you might want me to send to you or that I might want you to see or read. Uh, in any case, it's referred to as an attachment and it has a little symbol of a paper clip there and you'll see how that proceeds. First thing we need to do is to open our internet. We need to get on the internet by opening our browser and in my case I'm using Internet Explorer and I think you are too. And when you do that, I believe up at the top of your screen I put a little icon that said Gmail or email or something to that effect. Uh, and you would want to click on that. I'm going to open my Gmail if this thing will ever come up. It's slow this morning. I don't know what's going on. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to open my Gmail and that's what you would want to do. And I'm going to move down uh, to this uh, picture here. And when you see that come up, usually the photograph, if it's a photograph, you can see it down below the message. The message would be right in here if there were one. In this case there is none. I just forwarded, forwarded the photograph. But you can, if you want to look at a larger view of this picture, you can simply click on view and you'll get a larger picture to look at. Makes it a little clearer sometimes. And when you finish that, you simply go to this box in the upper right hand corner and click on the red X and that'll make that box go away. Now if you want to download it and save it on your hard drive, you simply click on the download here and you don't want to open it. Opening it will just make it larger than it was when we looked at it a moment ago under the view. We want to save it is what we want to do. So we click on save here and the box will pop up asking us to give it a name and the we want to call this uh, Jim and Jill. And normally that will be highlighted in blue and if it is you can just start typing. If it's not highlighted in blue when it pops up or you just see it like it is here, you want to put the cursor to the right of it all the way to the right of whatever's in that box. Hold the left mouse button down and drag your mouse to the left and that makes everything highlighted in blue. Now you can either just type over it, you can hit your delete key and type in, in there what you want. I'm just going to type over it and I'm just going to put Jim and Jill because I name a lot of things Jim and Jill. I put Jim and Jim. Uh oh, glad Jill's not here. That wouldn't work. Now, once we've named it, then we go down and give, and then we want to come down here to save. Click on save. Now, you don't have to worry, but let me say one other thing before we leave here. Don't worry about the file type here. It will usually always be put in there for you, and what's in there is usually correct, so we won't talk about file types. Just talk about file names, so you give it a name one you can remember and you'll find it by when you want to and then come down here to save click on save and uh, in this case we did that a minute ago uh, and I'm redoing this video but it will save it to your that's what will happen now if you want to forward this picture you come to send it to somebody else share it with somebody else there's a couple of ways to do it one way is right here go to forward click on forward and you notice another email comes up ready for you to send an email to somebody. So you type in there. I'm going to just type Jim and it'll come to back to me. And you see it says the subject of the email is a picture for you and then there's the attachment. That's that picture. And we know it's an attachment because there's a little paper clip and it's a, a 32, yes, yeah, a file. So that's how you would do that. We click on send after you've just typed in someone's name. Click on send and it will send it. 
And that's how easy that is to do. If you have any questions, give me a call or send me a message on uh, Yahoo, and I will see it, and we will respond. Thank you.